In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a cover image to your Facebook page. And I'll even show you how to design one for free. To add a cover image to your Facebook page, you can just click on this little button here in the cover image space. And you can choose a photo or upload a photo. And you can even upload a video or a slideshow in this space as well. But for this video, we're just going to look at uploading a photo. So what are some of the best practices for using this space and getting the most out of it? Well, let's have a look at an example here on Udemy.com's Facebook page. They have used this in an interesting way. They have included a picture of their ideal customer or their customer really in action using their product or service. So Udemy is an online marketplace that sells online courses. And here you can see a picture of one of their students really using their marketplace. You can see he's got the laptop out, looks like he's at home, he's taking notes. And so he, they are using this space to really identify the, with the customer. So when I see that and come to their page, I say, hey, that's kind of what I'm doing. Um, and then I can identify with that. It speaks directly to the customer. Another way that you can use this cover image space, for example, if you were a local business like this one here, which is a steakhouse in Dublin. They have taken a picture of the outside of their building. And this is a great use of this space as well, because if I come to their Facebook page to find out if they're open, a little bit more about them, read the reviews, well, then I get a clear picture of what it looks like from the street. And that when I walk past, it makes it very easy for me to identify. Yes, that's the place I saw it online. And that's the exact picture of it. So I know I'm here or that's where I saw that review about that place that looks good. So that's another interesting way to use this cover image space. Now there's really unlimited possibilities for this. And so if you want, you can come in, use the Facebook search bar, search for a similar business to, your, to, to yourself and check out how they are using them. Now I do want to show you how to design your own cover image for free. And to do that, you can come into canva.com. It's essentially just like Photoshop, but a lot simpler and completely free. And the best thing about it is that they have templates for Facebook cover images. So you can just log in and then click on Facebook cover. You can see it has the exact dimensions that we need. So this really saves us a couple of steps in the process. So we can click into that. And right now you can see that we have our blank canvas in those correct pixel dimensions. And then over here on the left hand side, we have templates that we can actually use and drag and drop into this blank canvas. Now, a lot of these are free and you can use those and just manipulate the text and the colors and the images if you want. And some of them do have some page image, paid images and uh, or paid elements to them. Uh, and that's okay because Canva are providing a great service. Obviously, they need to make some money out of this. And the cool thing is, is that if you see a template like this that has some paid elements to it, it doesn't mean you can't use it at all. You can just go ahead and delete the paid elements. So I can see here because it's got the, the X's at the back that this is a paid element. So I can actually delete that. And what I'm going to do is actually put my background in this. I'm going to delete the background here, put my own background that I've uploaded into that. And actually I can see that this part of the image as well as a paid element. So I'm actually going to remove that and I'm going to replace that. So I can come up into elements, shapes, and I'm going to pop this in here. I'm going to reposition this. And you can see it gives you a lot of help to make things centered. And I think that looks pretty good. So once you have created a cover image that you like, then you can just go ahead and click download and save it as a PNG. And it can take a couple of seconds like this for it to download. So I'm just going to move that to my desktop. What I might do before I leave this is just click save. 
so I have that for later. And then I'm going to come back to my Facebook page, click on add a cover from a photo. And actually I need to click upload, upload a photo. And there's my design. I can just upload it there. And I think you'll agree that looks fantastic. And we're really taking advantage of this prime real estate on our Facebook page. Now, one final thing that you'll want to do in order to get more website traffic from your Facebook page is to add in your website here under the learn more button. So I've just added in website.com. This is just a test account. You can add in your own uh, URL there and then click on save changes and we've updated our learn more button. So anybody who comes to our Facebook page and wants to learn more, they can click straight through to our website and you can even test that to make sure that it does actually go through to the right URL that you've put in there. So now that you know how to create your own cover image for Facebook and upload it and add in that link back to your website, go ahead and take these important steps to set up your presence on Facebook.